Hello and welcome. So, this evening I'm going to talk about a book that I just finished last night. And you know what that book is, it's already in the title. It's Deepa Anapara's Jin Patrol. <laughs> No, it, it, it looks inverted from my screen. Gin Patrol on the Purple Line. So, oh gosh, this book, I, you know, I'm gonna say that I just inducted this book into my personal sluggish readers, all-time favorite books, you know, Hall of Fame. It is wonderful. And I was actually surprised by that because, um, before I got this book, I was actually quite intrigued by it, but, you know, uh, I, I sort of knew that, you know, it had a uh, narrator who is a child, which which is something that I usually, uh, you know, don't really find interesting or really intriguing. You know, I usually find, uh, you know, child narrators to be, sometimes to be kind of grating or just <laughs> kind of underwhelming and uh, I especially dislike child narrators that are written to be um, you know precocious and overly smart and stuff like that so I, I really dislike those I, you know I'm, I'm kind of allergic to those but the narrator in this book yes the narrator is indeed a child but uh, the narrator is written very well there is n it, it doesn't have the elements that I dislike rather I thought that this would be one of the best I would even say that it's one of the best narrators that I've uh, that I've read even though he's a child so yeah really amazing books there are uh, there are also other things that I would uh, love to talk about is why I really really love this book just, let me just say that I literally stayed up all the way until 1.30 a.m. last night. I know that's early for you guys, but it's kind of late for me. And I felt like I was doing something naughty. As if, you know, as if I was a child, uh, you know, and I was staying up late watching TV until 1 a.m. You know, that kind of feeling as if I was doing something wrong. That was how I felt <laughs> last night. <laughs> And the only reason why I felt like that was because the next day I had to go to work. But yeah, I stayed up late just so that I could finish this book. And it was so satisfying. <laughs> so what is Jin Patrol on the Purple Line about? So in this book, um, the you know it, we follow this young boy. His name is Jai, and he lives in uh, modern India. He lives in this uh, impoverished basti or or something like a, a slum with his family, uh, his parents, and his older sister. And um, basically, their living condition is that they live in poverty, and the neighbors are also uh, quite poor. And uh, you know they are also, um, you know, not only they have to like struggle to get by, but they also have this kind of distrust towards the police and figures of authority, because they are so worried that um, you know the police are going to come with their bulldozers and demolish their home in the slums. So, you know, they they live in this constant worry of all of these things. And not only that, they are also struggling with their livelihood. But at the same time, uh, we have this, you know, we, we also see that Jai has a fairly good family life, despite all of the difficulties that they are struggling with. Um, so yeah, that's the introduction to our main character and his family. And so uh, what the inst instigation event in this novel is the disappearance of one schoolmate. Uh, of Jai, so his name is Bahadur, and uh, you know he is uh, you know a, a neighbor's child that Jai is not particularly close to, um, but is you know is is definitely a neighbor that is fairly close to Jai's family, and one day this boy he goes missing, and it 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 causes this uh, you know this this tension and 
worry among the residents of, of this Basti. And, uh, you know, everyone is just worried about this child going missing and they were looking for him. And they were, you know, they also went, you know, go to the, go to the police. But, be, you know, because the police at that place is very corrupt, not only the police actually uh, extort bribes from those who live in the slums, but, um, you know, when they know about the disappearance of this boy, they don't really do anything. Like, they, they don't react to it. They don't, like, you know, do any uh, investigation right away. They just sort of assume that this boy just feeling really, you know, he, maybe he just feels really unhappy at, at his home, and so that's why he runs away. And so the police does not do anything and Jai being someone uh, you know somewhat of a fan of uh, procedural shows you know like cop shows himself um, he is sort of inspired to uh, kind of start an investigation uh, in order to find this boy and you know, why he disappears and, and so you know becoming a detective himself and in doing so he he also enlists the help of his two friends, uh, Faiz, who is a Muslim, and uh, Pari, who is a girl that is, you know, who is also fairly smart, <laughs> fairly smart than him. So these three children, um, they sort of go around the areas uh, within the Basti and also around the Basti and they also end up in places where children are not supposed to end up in you know we're talking about places like uh, you know places that are frequented by gangs by child snatchers the uh, the metro station where they're not supposed to go to and they also end up you know somewhere the red light district it's so interesting but at the same time it's you know, it, it sort of becomes this kind of adventure kind of a story. Now, as I'm telling you this, so this is kind of like the background of this novel, uh, the setup for it. You can see that I am, you know, I'm telling you all of these as if it is kind of like this um, nice and lovely adventure story. You know, it's like one of those um, investigative uh, adventure stories featuring, uh, you know, kids or teenage investigators, you know, solving mysteries and stuff like that. And in the beginning of this book, it certainly has that vibe. And you sort of go into this book, you know, um, with this feeling of optimism and this, this, this ray of light, the idealism, uh, feeling that things would get better, you know, with all of these, ch you know, child investigators. Well, what can go wrong, right? <laughs> and I actually found myself at the beginning of this book giggling a lot because I thought that the narration was really funny. Like, Jai is actually the narrator of this book. He's the protagonist and he's, he's also the narrator of the majority uh, of this book's story. And his narration is just so funny. He um, he sounds very naive. He is, uh, you know, sometimes he would make comments that are trivial and very petty in nature. Um, that would just really makes me laugh out loud. And um, at the same time, his um, you know his motivation in becoming an investigator you know, to investigate all of this uh, or the disappearance of this boy is that you know he 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 wants to do good you know so he has a pure heart and uh, you know as these children investigate the disappearance of this boy eventually more children other children also disappear and as more of these children disappear they also start to investigate all of these other disappearances as well and sort of make a uh, connection between these disappearances and it is in this you know it, it is in this uh, kind of like I would say this portion of the story where we see this 
uh, development of the plot going on that we start to see that this story is slowly becoming something that is slightly different from how it is in the beginning of this book. You know, like how in the beginning it's all very peachy and wonderful and positive and optimistic. Eventually, this story sort of goes into darker territory. Like you start to see a little bit of gloom. It gets a little bit grayer. And as you read on, it actually becomes darker and darker. And I must say that the ending of this book is super dark and remember I said that I actually laughed out loud at the beginning of this book I laughed out loud a lot literally I did lol a lot in the beginning of this book and I realized that as this book got a little bit more you know darker I actually laughed less and less I noticed that and there are certain portions of the book that kind of makes me question why I laughed at this book, laughed with this book at the beginning portion. And when I thought about it, you know, when I reflected on it, it made sense for me to laugh at the beginning of this book because those scenes were certainly very funny. You know, those narrations were, fu you know, very funny. And the difference is that there is a shift in tone, which I think is really fascinating. And as I later find out, is also something that many other, you know, many readers actually find kind of jarring and they are, you know, they are actually kind of turned off by it. And I can understand why, but I personally, I really love this change in tone. And, you know, it, it just keeps on changing into something very dark eventually at the end and the way I see it is that it really mirrors this um, this coming of age element in this book like by the time I got to the ending I realized that this book at its core when you look at it from uh, when you look at it from the perspective of the protagonist Jai this boy it is actually a story of his, um, you know, his, his maturation. Um, you know, it is actually his coming of age story where we see him starting at a position where he is very naive and very innocent and he views the world with this really, uh, you know, kind of like rose tinted lens, very, um, uh, very sunny and cheery outlook in life that's where we started from and then as we follow Jai in this book we start to see that things around him are not as as cheerful as they seem to be you know there are so many dark things lurking beneath all of those sunny facade and then as we go deeper into the plot we realize that you know those dark things are becoming more and more obvious and Jai as a character certainly experienced some kind of change in this book now of course I'm not going to tell you what those changes are I'm not going to spoil anything but let me just say that there is definitely a character development especially when it comes to Jai in this book and um, also especially on how he sees his role as investigator how he sees his own personal motivation into becoming an investigator in the first place and I find it really fascinating because he becomes a you know an investigator a child investigator he wants to investigate this this boy's disappearance in the beginning was because of something that is fairly um, partly you know partly something to indulge himself indulge his his fantasy so to speak his own um, optimistic fantasy so to speak something that is pretty much laced with this sense of fantasy and um, uh, inexperience that was you know part of his motivation to becoming this 
investigator at the beginning of this book and when we get to the end we sort of see how he views this and it's really fascinating for me and it's just so satisfying but what you know another thing that I found so fascinating is that this book seems to kind of you know because it 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 is able to really tether me to this uh, to the to the experience of Jai. In the beginning, when he's an innocent boy, I felt innocent too. And I saw the book, I saw everything that happened in the book as something fun and innocent. But when I reached the end with him, it seems like both of us are starting to see all of these dark things. And he, as a character, definitely questions certain aspects of his life. He starts to question things, of course, because he, you know, he experienced character change. But I, as a reader, I also start to question things, not only about how I viewed this book since the beginning, but also what this book is trying to tell me with its tone change. Now, of course, me and Jai, we are like different ages, right? I am supposed to know, I mean, assuming, you know, the readers are older than Jai, which I'm sure most of them are. <laughs> I should know more things than, you know, what, what Jai would hypothetically know about, you know, so-called life, you know, those, the, the, actual reality of life. You know, I should have known better, you know, so to speak. <laughs> but because of the writing of this novel, I was sort of tricked into thinking, into going into this mode of optimism, you know. And then the ending sort of like, you know, it's it, it sort of said to me, gotcha. <laughs> um, as if it was trying to kind of like bamboozle me into thinking, in, in, into, uh, you know, into thinking in the way that it wants me to think, you know, if that makes sense. Um, and so it kind of got me thinking. When, when you read a book, right, I think this is something that, you know, all of us realize, especially when it comes to novels and fiction, is that when we go into a book, we expect a certain kind of uh, uh, rule. We have expectations on how the book is going to be. Like, for example, if you are going to read a book about, uh, you know, a, a, a mystery book about the police investigation of a murder, for example, that book, at least, we will not expect it to turn into a rom-com. <laughs> in the second half. Like, you know, that is not the kind of stuff that we expect because we already place a certain kind of expectation on that book that, you know, it is about police, it is about the murder and the killer and the victim and the investigation and that's how it will be all the way until the end and the tone is going to be consistent. But what if something actually happens in the second half of this book that really subverts that expectation? I think we would be quite surprised as well. And, uh, and you know, novels, it cannot really mimic real life in such a way that, you know, real life is really chaotic. Like if you live in a, on a flat, right? And, um, you know, people in one unit would probably have different lives. Maybe their lives would mimic something more of a uh, domestic fiction. And people in another unit, maybe they're not married, so they have totally different stories. So their lives would uh, resemble something of a slightly different genre. I don't know, a romantic comedy or something. Or, you know, someone in another unit might be engaging in crime or whatever. So their lives are going to be different because they have different anxieties. And so if you combine all of these things together and you cram them all into one book, that book would probably not work very well because it would be kind of inco you know, incoherent. And so we kind of have this um, expectation of what books should be, right? And I think this book really plays on that because the way it starts, it 
sort of tells us, hey, this is this is how this story is going to be, or or rather, it says to me, hey, this is my story. Just listen to my story. This is how I'm telling it, you know. And I and I read the story and I enjoy the story, but I seem to be enjoying it with a particular expectation in mind. You know, I I I look at the beginning of this book and I thought that it would it would probably end like this. But no, this book takes a different direction, and so when it when it takes that detour, I was like, okay, there is a slight change of, you know, direction. I can work with that. Maybe it will go into this direction instead. But then it takes you know, another detour, and I'm like, okay, I can work with that too. <laughs> Maybe it will take this direction, but no, it takes a different detour. And it does so in this like really masterful way that is not jarring. It feels very organic because it eases us into the darkness rather than immediately uh, shocks us with the darkness. And I really like that. It's just, wow, amazing. And it feels like I'm literally on a ride and I was led to that place. And I was surprised by what I am seeing, but at the same time, I don't feel that, you know, those things that I'm seeing, they don't belong in this book. All of the elements that I end up encountering in this book, they all make sense. They all are logical. So this book plays with tone a lot. It feels almost meta, if you know what I mean. It's just... It's it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> speechless. <laughs> I highly recommend this. Um, you know, if you want to experience what I experienced, because let me say, you know, let me just say, it was epic. Also, something I want to add about this book was uh, this book is also very unapologetic when it comes to. Uh, and its inclusion of slang, particularly uh, you know local Indian slang, Hindi slangs, it uses a lot of those in this book, and I think that probably many people would find that to be uh, difficult to digest, and it's totally understandable. I mean, I also don't understand many of the words that this book uses, but I feel that they, you know, this book uses those words in this really carefully. Um, and meticulously, um, uh, you know, uh, way that I could pretty much figure out what the words means based on the context. And it doesn't really require a lot of uh, effort from me. I don't have to check the dictionary. I don't have to Google those words. It all just comes really naturally. And the way it uses these words just sort of reeks with this kind of amazing you know pride of the culture as if it doesn't try to like hey I'm, I'm, I'm talking about a story um, that happens in India uh, maybe some of you guys will not understand you know the culture the words that I'm going to use so I'm going to explain it no it doesn't do that it simply tells us the story hey this is my story it's taking place in India this is what the people does this is what they say, this is how they say it, I'm just going to say it, I'm just going to tell the story the way it is, and if you guys don't understand it, just Google it yourself. <laughs> and it doesn't care. And I really love that. No italics. <laughs> love it. So, really, check this out. Uh, I think I'm rambling too much. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, if you have the opportunity, um, try this book and let me know how you, how you feel about it. Or if you have read it, what did you think about it? Did you like it or did you not like it? I would love to know your experience with this book. And um, you know, if you are interested in reading this book, again, you know, said it many times already, I highly recommend it. <laughs> So um, I'm going to end uh, my my book talk 
for this one now and uh, I'll see you again in a different video so I hope that we can talk more in the comments below and uh, yep yeah, see you later um, take care thanks for watching and bye